Electrodiagnostic testing is considered the gold standard test to investigate for nerve injury or nerve pathology. It is comprised of nerve conduction testing, which measures your nerve conduction velocity and peripheral nerve responses, as well as electromyography, or EMG, which utilizes a fine needle electrode uh, that is placed inside of the muscle in order to record its electrical activity. Can I let your head relax? There you go. Electrodiagnostic testing has the ability to measure nerve function in real time. So this I'm just going to place along the inside of your foot and we're going to stimulate right along the bottom here. So just like that. So different from say an x-ray or an MRI, um, we can see actual physiologic nerve responses um, as opposed to just structural changes that you may find in imaging. Electrodiagnostic testing is a rather safe procedure. There is some discomfort associated with testing. Uh, we utilize electricity uh, through a handheld stimulator to activate peripheral nerves and, and measure the responses, but not to a level that is harmful. Um, the needle electrodes that we use are um, one-time use and they're sterilized. And, uh, but, but there may be some discomfort associated with the placement of the needle depending on the location or the muscle that we test. Usually aside from some discomfort associated with testing, you may experience a mild bruise or a bump under the skin, but that is rare and doesn't happen in most patients. So one of the main components of electrodiagnostic testing is peripheral nerve conduction. So that will involve stimulating through a handheld uh, device putting a low level of electricity into the nerve to stimulate or to activate the nerve. And then we have electrodes that are placed on the skin uh, that measure the response. So from nerve conduction testing, we can see uh, how healthy a nerve is, how fast it conducts, what the size of the response is, which gives us an idea of how many healthy nerve fibers are present. Electrodiagnostic testing is commonly used to investigate for symptoms of carpal tunnel, cubital tunnel, cervical radiculopathy, sciatic type symptoms, as well as what we call a polyneuropathy or when they, someone has multiple nerves involved where their feet go numb or their hands go numb or they have burning type pains or sensations. Electromyography gives us the ability to look at the nerve roots in both the neck and the lower back. Those are nerves that are not readily available to do nerve testing on or nerve conduction testing on. So EMG is particularly important when we're looking at things like cervical radiculopathy or people that have neck pain that radiates into their arm or hand, as well as sciatica when they have lower back pain with symptoms of numbness, tingling, or pain that radiates into their leg or all the way down into their foot. When patients are referred to our clinic for electrodiagnostic testing, uh, testing usually takes about 45 minutes to one hour. Um, there's a little bit of discomfort associated with testing, but there's really no side effects. Uh, patients typically can then resume their normal activities that day, and we provide the results of their testing the same day.